the only bright in the world and you just darkened his. You heard those words here last night. Michelle Malloy, a grieving mother whose pain was made worse when someone stole a little fire truck from her son's grave. The lawn ornament was special because that little light was meant to keep six-year-old Zion free from his fear of the dark. This pathetic act of a vandal struck a nerve with many of you. A lot of you asking how you could help. New tonight, thanks to one couple's actions, a new fire truck marks Zion Maldonado's grave. And 24-hour news aide Steve Kelso was there to see it all happen, Steve. Yeah, you know, I gotta tell you guys, I'm kinda here to eat my own words tonight. Last night during our 5.30 newscast, I stood on this very spot and I said, the story I'm about to tell you is not going to renew your faith in humanity. I was wrong. Man, I was dead wrong. I simply didn't understand the intensity of Zion's light. So we saw this story about the little six-year-old over in Vermontville. Weirdest thing, I met him at a gas station in Plainwell just out of the blue on a Wednesday afternoon. Girlfriend and I thought it'd be a really nice idea to just take a bike ride over there and either help replace or bring it over. Strapped on the back of Michael Hickok's Harley Davidson, a brand new fire truck for little Zion. I called his parents on the way an hour later, and there we were. It's, yes, it's the exact same one. Complete strangers just minutes ago. Now, drawn together by Zion's light. Biker people know what to do for other folks. Times in need or whatever. Hickok and Don Hodges, well, they were just two of thousands who wanted to do something. Somebody did wrong and took it, but then... So many people have done right. So many people have contacted us and... Way us more. Support us. Way more good has came than the one bad thing. Two little lights have never shined brighter. One little soul shows his from beyond. He's still doing work here even though he's not physically here. He, he's still bringing the good out in people and... And who would have thought Zion's light now burns brightest all because of one stupid selfish act. His parents say you should remember that. Spread that light in his honor. They, they can do what their heart tells them and... What feels right. What feels right to them. Alright, so think about this. Had anything been different today? Three minutes here, five minutes there. I wouldn't run into those folks at that gas station. Mm. I might not have known that his fire truck had been replaced. So was I standing in the shaft of Zion's light? Oh. I don't know. That is just unbelievable the because timing. you just yeah. ran into them. Just ran and into them. And they happened to have the truck and they were bringing it there. Yep, she recognized me, came into the gas station. She said, I know you. I said, how's that? She said, you did that story last night. Can you give me directions to the cemetery? That is unreal. I said, well, why don't you follow me? Wow. <laughs> and they were an hour away. An hour away. Yeah. Just, yeah and so, so this two was hours. not it, close by. No, I mean, and they're from know. Shelbyville. It had taken a good part of their day, pretty much mm -hmm. all of their day, to, to go and to do that. So. What an uplifting ending to that very sadly. So happy to be proven wrong. Definitely. Thanks, Steve. It's heartwarming. Thanks. Steve, thank you.